Hi everyone, this is Mrs. Parr, and on this episode of Math Up to Parr, we are going to be talking about equality equations. So let's talk about what these are. An equality equation represents the relationship between two expressions of equivalent value. So equivalent is just a fancy word for equal. Okay, so it's talking about two expressions that are equal. They're worth the same amount. So an example of that would be that 12 times 3 is equal to 72 divided by 2. The reason is that 12 times 3 is 36, and 72 divided by 2 is also 36. So even though I did different operations and used different numbers, when I solve those expressions, they equal the same amount. Therefore, those expressions are equal to one another. So if you see this equal symbol in the middle, like this one, very familiar to you, that means that the values on both sides are equivalent to each other. They are, it's a balanced equation. It is an equivalent expression. You might hear a couple different terms used to describe it. If you see this symbol, where it's an equal sign with a slash through it, that may or may not be as familiar to you, but that means that the values on either side are not equivalent. So that means they would equal different things. So that is not a balanced equation. So let's try it. So here we're looking at four different statements where they have an equal sign in the middle. And it's asking us which of these is true. So in order to figure that out, we need to solve both sides of the equation and see which expressions are equal to the same amount. So 8 times 4 is going to be equal to 32. And 8 plus 4, okay, they're the same numbers, but this time I'm doing a different operation. 8 plus 4 is 12. So 32 is not equal to 12. Therefore, I would not pick A as something that is true. So B has 4 times 3, and I know that 4 times 3 is 12. And then over here, I've got 6 times 2. 6 times 2 is also 12. So that is an equivalent equation. Um, so I will probably pick that for my answer. However, I always want to make sure that I'm checking the other um, options in my problem because I often make mistakes. So I want to make sure that I didn't make a mistake or overlook something. And so I want to make sure that C and D are definitely not the right answer. Also, sometimes I see questions that ask me to pick more than one correct answer. So I want to make sure that this is not that. So C, I have 2 times 7, which is 14. And then over here, I've got 10 plus 3, which equals 13. So those numbers are very close to each other, but they are not equal. So this would not be true. Then over here, I've got 7 plus 1, which is 8, and 18 divided by 2. 18 divided by 2 is going to be 9. Once again, very close to each other, but not equal. So that would not be my answer as well. So it looks like B is true because both sides of the equation are equal to each other. So now I need to fill a number in the box that will make the equation true. So I look at both sides and I'm looking over here on this side of the equal sign, I have 15 minus eight and 15 minus eight is equal to seven. So I need this side to be equal to seven as well. That doesn't mean that seven goes in the blank because seven divided by three would not equal seven. So I need to find a number that will go in this box that will fit there that will get me the answer of seven. Well, I have a few strategies that I can use for division. I know that the opposite of division is multiplication. So if I multiply seven times three, I get 21. And if 21 is what is, um, if 21 divided by, sorry, if three times seven is 21, then 21 divided by three is going to be seven. So 21 is the number that goes in the blank because that's a way to make this expression equivalent to this expression over here. So 15 minus 8 is 7, and 21 minus or 21 divided by 3 is 7. You want them to both equal the same thing. Over here, I've got two numbers already, but I've got another blank in here. 
So this side is solved for me, or this side is has all the numbers. So I'm gonna go ahead and solve the side that has all the numbers first to see what the value is of the other side. Because I know we're, we're often used to the left side of the problem being what we solve and the right side having the answer, but it can actually pre be presented either way and it's still true. So 20 minus four is going to be 16. So that means I need this side to equal 16. Well, I have seven plus blank plus one. Well, seven plus one together would be eight. So I need to add something else to eight to get to 16. Well, I know that if I add eight plus eight together, that's gonna be 16 total. So that's the number that's going to go in my blank because seven plus eight plus one equals 16 and 20 minus four equals 16. So these are both equal. So now we're gonna fill in the blanks to show if the expressions are equal or not equal. So on this side, I have three times four, and on this side, I have 17 minus five. So I'm gonna solve these and decide if these expressions are equal or not equal by writing the symbols in the blank. So three times four is 12, and 17 minus five is 12. So I would say that these two expressions are equal to one another. Over here, I have 18 plus two, which is 20, and I have five times five, which is 25. Those are not equal to each other. So the way I would express that is with an equal sign with a slash that goes through it. All right, guys, that's all I have for today on equality equations. Thanks for listening and happy practicing. Bye.